Hi, my name is Brandon McWayne. I'm the Marketing Director at State Tech, and I'd like to welcome you to this week's edition of State Tech Talks. State Technical College of Missouri is ranked the top college in the country because of our amazing hands-on education, career outcomes, and graduation rates. So while our students may work hard, we also know how to have some fun along the way. See for yourself and apply today for next fall. And we have a winner. Well, three. Congratulations to our top three finishers in the State Tag Auto Collision Big Buck Hunting Contest. Take a look. All right, I am Christian Record. I am the uh, lead instructor for Auto Collision, and this is our first ever, going to be our first ever Auto Collision Big Buck Contest. And what we have today is we have our three winners of that contest. So these guys here all killed uh, three really incredible deer. Uh, to determine the winner, we ended up measuring it by inches, and, uh, and we ended up having uh, Dawson here who got first place. So what do you think, Dawson? Uh, it's a really cool contest. I'm just glad I was able to come out in first. <laughs> So, Dawson, uh, really, we leave it up to you as far as this goes. SGA, I do want to mention SGA. They're the ones that donated the prizes here. So we got the, uh, the Rhino 360-degree uh, view blind. You pull these down. The neat part is, is you can look through them and, and see out all the way around it. <clears throat> we got the Summit Climber Deer Stand here. And then in my hands, we have the Bushnell Range Finder as well. So these are three really, really good prizes. Um, really, first, second, third place, you're all going to get good prizes. So. That case there, Dawson, what are you going to decide you want to pit then? Um, I believe I'm going to take the range finder. Oh, smart man. I've been eyeing that on my desk for about three weeks. So, <clears throat> Thank you to SGA for donating, and I'm very happy. Heck yeah. All right, so then we got second place here, which is going to be Timothy Schwartz. So now with the range finder down, he gets his pick of between the pop-up blind or the uh, climbing deer stand. Yeah, I'm going to take the blind. Don't have one of these yet, so we're going to see how it works. Oh. Be ready to kill a bigger deer with it next year. Yeah. Uh, then last year we have Carson, uh, is it Burke? Burke, yeah. Burke, Carson Burke here. Yeah. And we, uh, that means Carson, you are left with the very nice Summit good Climbing deal. Deer Stand. So good very deal. comfy good seat. Good to use next year. So For I'm sure. Excited. All right. Cool. And that's it. That's the uh, first ever auto collision uh, SGA bid buck contest. So be ready next year. Are you a member of the State Tech Activity Center? Do you want to bring a friend to a fitness class? Well, now you can for free during December. Stop by the front desk, grab a gift tag, fill it out, and have some fun. If your friend becomes a member, you both get a free month in 2022. And now it's time for our weekly State Tech Employee Spotlight. This week, you get the chance to meet Mitch Branson from our Automotive Technology Program, and here are some questions and answers. Question one, if you won the lottery, what is the first thing that you would do? He says, buy my wife a pink Jeep. Question two, if you could be any fictional character, who would you choose? He said, Buford Pusser from Walking Tall. Question three, what was the last experience that made you a stronger person? He says, wrecking my mud racer and hearing my daughter and wife scream in the video as I crashed. Luckily, he walked away just fine. Question four, what is your favorite indoor or outdoor activity? He says, indoors is playing with my kids, and outdoor is watching motorsports. Question five, what advice do you have for kids who are struggling in school? He says, shut your mouth and keep your ears open. You'll learn a lot more that way. And question six, how do you define success? He says, the excitement on my kid's face when I see them after I've been gone for a while, whether that's just been a couple hours or the entire day. And we have a bonus episode of an employee spotlight because now we're going to catch up with Matt Fowler from our aviation maintenance program. Question one, when you have 30 minutes of free time, how do you pass your time? He says trying to spend as much time with his daughter as he can. Question two, if you could be any fictional character, who would you choose? He says, I suppose it would be a Jedi so I can move things without touching them and the weak-minded would do things for me. And hopefully it would come with a pretty cool lightsaber because let's face it, that would be awesome. I agree. Question three, what is something you learned in the last week? 
This answer made me laugh. He said, apparently season nine of My Little Pony is never going to make it to Netflix. Yeah, I qualify as a brony, but I own it, he says. I challenge you to sit down with eight seasons of that show with your daughter and tell me that you also don't become enamored with it. Question four, at what age did you become an adult? He said, I believe I am still a child mentally. I just happen to be trapped in an adult's body. I can agree with that one too. Question five, 10 years ago, what did you think you'd be doing now? He said, I assumed I would still be working on aircraft, but I never thought I would be a teacher of any kind. What is something you would like to tell yourself at the age of 13? He says, it's much easier to keep weight off in the first place rather than try to lose it after gaining it, especially after your mid-30s. So keep that in mind because cheesecake, my friend, is a double-edged sword. And finally, what is your favorite thing about working at State Tech? He says, the aha moments when a student finally comprehends a given topic and you can see that it has clicked. And finally, students, we have a fun raffle for you to take advantage of. Take a look. This is still your chance to win this new Yeti cooler. $5 buys you a stress ball and an entry. So stop by the bookstore today to enter before you run out because there's only a few days left in the semester. And that is a wrap for this week's edition of State Tech Talks, and we'll see you back here next week.